Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Uh, this time just an update on uh, what's happening right now and where I'm at regarding my next project, Linux uh, Sling. So, uh, as you can see right now, that I've taken out the three tools here from my current uh, Linux and it has been transferred over to this uh, ender wire so this is the ender wire that i'm going to be making linux uh, tool changer on as you can see so this is the dock slide except the difference between this and this is this dock slide goes on the uh, y-axis whereby this goes on the z-axis so uh, how it's gonna look like is so basically the gantry will move up and down so so it will print down here and when it's going to do a tool change it's going to go up here and this thing will go in the dog slide will go in this way the gantry will draw off the tool the dog slide will move back the gan uh, the carriage move to the next tool the gantry fits deploy the carriage pick up the tool and the gantry park back at eh, the uh, dock slide park so that the gantry can move back down to print so it's very simple actually the implementation for uh, dock slide on linux sling is very simple just need this uh, extrusion two left right two here two there two motors as usual and this time i'm using the uh, pancake motor the smallest stepper motor as you can see it's only three tool here and this is very light so it's going to move this way and this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to wire the two motors to a single stepper because i'm using the uh skr mini e3 v3 board big three tech board that i have so i'm going to use that so the stepper uh, only i think four stepper drivers but the z has a dual port for uh, two motors z so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use these two motor for that z port and x and y eh, x and z motor these are core exact so x and z motor are the two ports and these two dock slide motor will be on the z port on the uh, big three tech board and also the uh, uh, y motor will be on the other port so all together the four drivers uh, this system will be able to accommodate on that board so as you can see it's very simple i just installed three tools here the three tools down here and these are the same uh, linux te tetra mod whereby we have the four uh, dome nuts down here so basically that's it and one thing that i want to uh, tell you all is uh, you can actually use stealth changer for dog slide with dog slide that dog slide is actually compatible i mean i i'm not sure because i've never built stealth changer before but from the viewpoint on my perspective is you can actually use stealth changer using dog slide so as usual what's going to happen is the gantry will move up so the dog slide will push and the gantry will move down to drop the stealth changer tools then the gantry will eh, the dog slide will park so the gantry will move to the next tool the carriage will move to the next tool the get uh, the slide will deploy and the the carriage can pick up the next tool dog slide park the, the carriage will move down so it's actually compatible with stealth changer so you you can actually use stealth changer with dog slide and i think stealth changer i don't know whether you can fit more i i, I have no idea about stealth changer how big how wide they are because they have a lot of uh, tool head right now i mean tools they have the end head uh, they have the uh, dragon burner the yavov everything so i don't know whether you can fit more tools four tools maybe on the stock uh, ender tree but yes 
like I said, I think it's compatible. So if you want to give it a try, you can still use our dog slide system like this. And just put a staff changer there, staff changer tool head, and I think it should be a that. Oh, sorry, that's the that's the uh, spool mount. So it will be a direct replacement. I mean, direct replacement for the uh, tool changer system for a staff changer. That's basically that's it. And this is as simple as it can be. Just two motors, two shaft collar as usual, two uh, bearings down here. That's all. All are printed parts. <coughs> and, oh, sorry. And of course, you need the uh, MGN. This is MGN 9C rails. So of course, you need the rails as well. That's a short one. I think this is 110 mm rails. So that's it. Because I need to clear the tools back as far as it can clear the tools on the uh, gantry. So I just use 110 mm here. So I don't know how how much clearance the staff changer needs. You can also use the rails based on that. So yeah, that's it. So right now I'm waiting on some things before I can finalize this. I can start to run this printer. Number one is I need to do the wiring. I need to do the wiring, uh, the umbilical down here. So I think it will be so uh, much straightforward just from here down to here so that when it, it pick up the umbilical will go this way down that's number one and then number two is i need to wait on the magnets for the uh, carriage down here i need the magnets number two number three is i i'm waiting on the power supply for the this printer linux link i need a new power supply so that's it once everything is uh, here i will set it up and i will get it running and i will install creeper as well and this is the ducts so it's the same thing the ducts are magnetic and it will connect to the carriage let me try to fit it up so the duct uh let me see whether i can fit it up in here here yep So the duct will be that way. It's the same Linux one uh, tool head. The 5015 fan will be at back here. So it limits a bit on how high the Z will be because the fan will hit the the belt, the running belts here. So I don't know if you have you are not using under wire, it might go higher up. Or if you have any idea of a new way to mount the fan, you can have more Z build volume. So basically that's it as uh, in in terms of X and Y build vo volume uh, It's easy to just move the bed around But I have yet to think of a way to enclose the, this printer And I don't know whether I'm going to enclose the printer itself Because I'll be printing mostly in PLA So I don't know whether I'm going to enclose this thing But yeah, as you can see here It's printing some part like the umbilical mounting right now so I'm going to print the umbilical mount to put down here, make the wiring, and basically that's it. And for uh, the current Linux on the on the moving bed system, not the flying gantry, but the fixed uh, moving bed system, fixed gantry system, you can also use stealth changer. I mean, it's compatible. Our dog slide is compatible with stealth changer. I mean, in in my guess, it should be comfortable uh, compatible. So you just need to set the dog lower so that when the gantry approach, the dog will comes down and uh, comes down lower so that the gantry can uh, the gantry can approach. Then the dog slide will rise up so that the tool can disengage. <coughs> Sorry for stealth changer. So the the dog slide will rise up. The tool can disengage. Then the carriage will move to the next tool. And the dog slide will drops down to uh, engage the tool and move back, and the dog slide can goes back up. So I think it's a direct compatibility. With <coughs> Excuse me, with staff changer. Um, but I like I said, I never tried staff changer before, so I don't know. Uh, uh, I I've yet to try. It's just my theory in practice. What I think. So basically that's it yeah just a quick update for this time 
on what's going on so as you can see all the parts are printed here so it will be direct swappable between the two for the tools i can just take it out here and put there and from here as well i can just take it out and put here so if i need five tools i can put them here if i want three tools i can print them on my uh, linux sling so uh, that's it guys uh, do join us on discord uh, give a like subscribe to the channel it really really will help me to grow the channel and do share this uh, project with uh, your friends or anyone so that they can also give it a try right so see you guys